Saturday, we will try to conduct a mock test. Okay. This is a recent, uh, uh, this is a previous batches only. Those who are unable to complete on time, that time. So they are all added into this uh, active members into this group. So they are also facing some interview questions. So you can see what is Outlook. Latest browser used in that uh, uh, something it is given. What is the latest Windows operating system that you are aware of and the latest browser used in that? What is the latest operating system? Windows 11. Windows 11 operating system. OK, what is the browser? I think Windows 11 also same browser. Microsoft Edge only. Or, uh, this Windows 11. Right. So what will be there? My exam, the Windows Microsoft Edge only. Guys, these questions you may may not get. So that is how where, where do you find IP address? You know the right? You know the where do you find IP address? What is an IP address? Where is an IP address? So you can go to ncpa.cpl browser double click details. You will find an IP address. OK, to change IP address, you have to go to properties. IPv4 properties, then you can change the IP address. First option, second option. OK, next. Uh, otherwise, you can use a command. Open the command prompt. Put a IP config or a IP config all. So what is the uh, <coughs> what is a Microsoft Outlook guys? Few things we, we didn't discuss. So then one of the thing is Outlook. Just basic Outlook I will tell. So first of all, we have to list and uh, uh, repeated questions. Outlook is a repeated question. VPN is a, another uh, uh, repeated question. Regarding night sheets, see it is nothing, no question. It is there is a only one about a service desk profile. Okay, take some technical questions. So he, he didn't mention any uh, technical questions also. Okay, okay he is gotten. Why IT over civil engineering? Already I told this is the most common question. Why you choose IT over the civil engineering, mechanical engineering? About switches and routers, <coughs> networking devices. Okay. So only thing is open the question. Keep <coughs> try to answer yourself. One second. Sorry, sorry. Um, first of all, we will collect the common questions. First of all, we will understand what are the basic questions they are asking. What is this MFA? Maybe a civil engineer people know. Uh, multi factor authentication. Multi factor authentication. What is the multi factor thing? Is authentication method that acquires user to provide two or more verification factors to gain access. Uh, example, a two step verification is there, no? two, two step verification. Google, two step verification is there. So you have to give both your username, password, and then uh, once you're given, it will, uh, you will get a mobile alert. 
mobile alert. So then it is, uh, you have to give the pin, right? So whenever you like uh, open a Gmail account kind of stuff, so what it will shows uh, uh, mobile uh, acceptance is there. So immediately you will get a notification. So or a, you will get a message. Uh, you have to enter this pin so then you can able to log in, right? That is also comes under multi-factor authentication. There is a two things are there. So this is multi-factor authentication. <clears throat> not only uh, uh, OTP type, okay, not only a OTP kind of stuff, uh, like a certifications, keys, some uh, authentication, authorization kind of stuff. We will you see this is multi-factor authentication. Not in, it is not shown in any place. OK, so, so we don't have any particular uh, syllabus, but so common questions, you will get it. That's why I said most common things also important. The most memorable day about your project self introduction. OK. About your project guys, compulsory check your uh, about your project kind of stuff. So this is a very recent, very recent, uh, still uh, some interviews going on for this. Not a batch it is, it's uh, all previous batches. So people who are in uh, active and still interested, uh, they, they, they're following. Scored people, percentage scored people. She's a uh, favorite person, night, person to meet. So only communication. About environment, about journey from home to Hyderabad, favorite person. Okay, we can't expect what they will ask. Okay, so mostly like uh, environment, travel experience. So I think this is a HR one questions. About a service desk role, what do you do free time? Tell me about yourself. Okay, ready to join. If face the PC or desktop issue, how will you resolve? You face some issue with your PC. How do you uh, resolve the step by step process you have to follow? I will explain SOP also. Uh, sometimes some questions are direct, some questions may not be. Uh, direct you have to be creative in sometimes. Uh, okay. A lot of questions are there like this. VPN, this is a one of the most common question. VPN outlook. So what you have learned in a training about a training. Importance of service desk, likes and dislikes, strengths, hobbies. So uh, about in a five years, where you want to see yourself, how technically strong you are. Uh, these questions, uh, which is I shared to you, so that's uh, <clears throat> I think I shared all these question to you, or you were batch, right? These big, big questions. OK, so from our uh, only uh, Saris shared about VPN. So I receive a call about a training, about VPN, Outlook troubleshooting, willing to relocate. This is <coughs> willing to interact with the US UK clients. How do you know about a, what do you know about a computer? Do you have any personal laptop? How to connect it to Wi-Fi through laptop, install a software. This is another uh, one of the uh, thing. you guys know it. So that's why we, we usually we don't put a more thing on it. Uh, we get this laptop, so it is having a limit. Okay. 
is a new batch. OK. So you know your batch also some people cleared uh, interviews. Just we are waiting. Okay, so first of all, uh, simplest thing. I will tell. And also we'll go through the uh, questionnaire. OK. The previous batch questions are and uh, most frequently asked questions in a technical way. The technical parts we didn't discuss. OK, and uh, about a service desk and uh, other things. So first of all, we'll discuss that one also. <clears throat> so here it is. You know how to check the IP address? Yeah, uh, tell me to, uh, someone said. Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe 130. OK. Session will be uh, 130, like two parts of session. One is so try to revise all old questions. OK, so I want to make you just a uh, connectivity. So that's why. OK, so our, uh, otherwise some questions can be explained. So that's why I put it. OK, one or two topics compulsory uh, we have to discuss about uh, Outlook or about uh, SOP like this. <clears throat> Last two days I'm not much feeling well, so I'm not taking even I can't able to work up early. Still I didn't had anything. Okay. No problem. Okay. First of all, you know how to check IP address, IP config, IP config command prompt, IP config or IP config space slash all. Sometimes they will ask question difference between IP config and IP config slash all IP config get an IP address and subnet mask and default gateway. If you use all you'll get a your physical address, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DHCP server address and DNS server address. DHCP, DNS both questions are important. How to connect a Wi-Fi to laptop? how to connect uh, Wi-Fi to laptop. So currently I don't have a, any other uh, uh, additional uh, Wi-Fi adapters guys. OK. Mm. Very simple. Once you are having a Wi-Fi adapter or in, inbuilt adapter is there. Can you see this is a <coughs> link it is so just it shows generally a globe mark. So once you click here. The Available Wi-Fi is display on your screen. Available Wi-Fi signals display on your screen like your mobile phone. How you connect that is also important. How to connect your mobile phone to this one. OK. The Wi-Fi name. OK, SSID. OK, so what is the SSID? It is nothing but your Wi-Fi name. Your Wi-Fi name. Uh, abbreviation you can find it. So this is a SSIDs. The lock symbol represent you need to connect with the password. You need to connect with the password. No lock symbol means it's a open. OK, so for example, this is my uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So you can see the signal strength. This is signal strength is good. It is signal strength is good. Now you can uh, connect it uh, just if you click on a connect. OK, so what is uh, connect automatically whenever you open a laptop? Uh, if this is available, uh, then automatically it connects. OK. Just whenever you click on connect. So it will ask for a password. OK. When you press connect, it ask for a Give the password, it verifies. What happened? It verifies and shows connected. So, this is the way to tell answer for your Wi Fi connection related. Now, there is a small different, uh, small issues are there troubleshooting Wi Fi issues. 
troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues. For example, now it is connected. OK. Wi-Fi is connected means your Wi-Fi name. Password. Is correct. Wi-Fi is uh, um, connected, but IP address not getting. Okay, okay you are not getting any any IP address uh, and uh, disconnected. It is not connecting. So password is. Correct. So check Wi Fi router settings. Any um, Mac binding or a so Mac blocks. So block or uh, a Mac binding or a device block is there, you know. Uh, I given my uh, home Wi-Fi password by my in Pune, so I given a password to uh, some of uh, <coughs> to my one of uh, not to my Warner and the one one of the neighbor. So that time very less people are there. That's because of Corona or something. Um, one guy suddenly came and asked uh, by uh, please share your hotspot. He, 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 he because he know I have a Wi-Fi router, but the technically he don't know the Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi password. And he asked for a, uh, give me your hotspot. So I don't why I, I, I I'm using router right. So then uh, I you I you know why I, data is different. Okay, I'm giving my Wi-Fi router password. He got connected, but later after almost like a six months. The friendly sharing is happened. I think they shared uh, internet. Uh, they, 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 maybe they shared a password to others. I, I thought so when I'm seeing I checked my Wi-Fi router uh, settings using a browser. So then. OK, I log into my Wi-Fi router. I log into my Wi-Fi router and I checking. So how many devices are currently connected? I counted it also because I have a desktop and uh, I have uh, two mobile phones that time and my laptop. So only the, those things only not much more Four, four, and my owners and my neighbor one. So six connections. I've seen 10 connections are there. So uh, whatever I think it is not belongs to uh, uh, me. I blocked it. I blocked it. OK, so this is the one simple possibilities. Your Wi-Fi is correct. Password is correct, but not able to connect it. So it can be a blockage or a Mac binding. There is another problem is also there. So your Wi-Fi. When simple is Wi-Fi is connected. Today. Uh, uh, today uh, OK. But um, next day. Or uh, after. Some day. Next day or maybe after Sunday. Not connecting. This is one. Second one is. Okay, Wi-Fi is connected. OK, um, uh, in middle Wi-Fi password. Changed. Due to that. Are unable to. Connect. Your Wi-Fi password is. Changed. 
so that's why you are unable to connect it so what to do what to do so go to wi-fi settings like uh, in your mobile you can easily see that one okay here also you can able to see uh, very easily but not showing here uh, that much clear you can go to uh, network and uh, internet settings okay so this is my wi-fi see my this is my computer my network internet okay show all available network adapter options <coughs> network troubleshooters are there that is status you can see this is my wi-fi manage known networks manage known networks see these are all a known networks list okay add in add a new network you can add as a new network so this is an, an option like uh, you want to add a username and password here ssid and password here so you can add it network name like this you can uh, do it that that's a different point but you can see uh, for example something it is you can go to forget forget then again connect so point is guys so look at here you have a laptop or a mobile phone you have a wi-fi router is there what happened today you are connected after two days what happened uh, someone changed the password like your admin changed the password you are unable to connect right or uh, you got a block that is different block is is one thing second one is password change okay you, you have a password name is correct okay name is correct like a uh, my wi-fi name is uh, uh, n4 wi-fi name is n4 that is my ssid so name is correct password is also correct password is also correct but uh, next day i'm unable to connect why 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 because of the password is changed here in the router i'm unable to connect it so what to do go to forget go to wi-fi settings and click forget it will remove the pass uh, this information the forget means it remove this information either you restart your computer or again go to search click here check the this n4 name click on it give the password and it established the connectivity and it established the connectivity so that is your thing Forgot, forget, and uh, try it to connect again. So this is a very beautiful one, guys. It is also very useful while you are working on a um, working environment, personal both places. It is very interesting one. <coughs> Other than this one, lot of <coughs> issues are there. So uh, if it is a question, is uh, if you got a Wi-Fi related issue, how do you resolve, right? So uh, troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues directly can go. So troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues. If my if I already connected to the Wi-Fi, uh, uh, if I'm unable to connect it, I go to Wi-Fi settings, search a Wi-Fi name and I click on a forget. Forgot, forget or forgot. OK, so. <clears throat> forget or uh, forgot uh, forget forget actually forget forgot what are it is okay so for i uh, select a uh, select a wife and name in that one there is a properties and forget so forget the name and again search uh, the search wife and name and try to connect again with a proper password okay so what are the questions so like uh, what we will do there's a two chances one is because of mac binding you are unable to connect another one is maybe password changes <coughs> you are unable to connect it 
so what you do you forget and re try to reconnect from your side from router side also like a so one small point it is always sometimes your router may not give, try to give you a, a, a thing so one is restart your wi-fi router one more option is better to turn off the router and restart the router or reboot the router okay and uh, still no okay uh, but this is a very least option guys but least option reset restart reset uh, two important things you have to decide Uh, that's a spelling mistake okay uh, you have to decide okay. is it a internet issue or wi-fi router issue okay based on that you have to reset guess notes is notes but if you listen carefully then only we'll understand so it is internet related issues then we do internet related troubleshooting it's a wi-fi related issues we do wi-fi related router related troubleshooting sometimes both troubleshooting steps are same some sometimes not okay sometimes not so because of uh, your in your wi-fi a lot of connections we are made it so it is unable to connect to do devices so then yeah, it is better to go to reset options okay internet related issues also sometimes reset is also wise because the settings and all some software problem in the wi-fi router settings in the wi-fi router may cause the problem so you can reset the wi-fi router but that is a very least option least what are the least options resetting um reinstalling reinstallation you know you got a some problem in operating system then we will re reinstall the entire thing right so that is least options uh, bsod go to bsod also that's uh, uh, <coughs> also so difference between ipv4 and ipv6 you know guys that is 32 bit 128 bit all these things we are already discuss my laptop internet was not working and showing offline can you help me i'm getting i'm not getting internet it is showing i'm a offline so one is check the connectivity so you have to go to your control panel or ncpa.cpl so if you are unable to say ncpa.cpl properly otherwise you can easily say go to control panel okay so you can say directly go to control panel network and internet network and sharing center either this name change adapter settings check your adapter make sure that is is connected or not are you getting proper ip address or uh, you are uh, using a laptop means it is showing uh, this kind of symbol means it is internet access is there access type is internet is there access type is internet is there if i am not getting connected so there is a no internet right internet is there it is showing internet make sure you are getting internet or as i said very uh, easy thing Con try to connect to the wi-fi nearest wi-fi router so is it any wi-fi is is your wi-fi name is displaying here okay disconnect it connect it again otherwise uh, you have to check it so there is uh, no exact answer for that one. because it's a blind blind questions you can tell forget the wi-fi password uh, wi-fi and try to reconnect it okay restart your re uh, means restart your router now you try again you know last time it is not connected uh, you know what i have done I, I went directly 
I turn off my router and start my router. That is not correct solution, but we do something on ourselves. OK, so next one is you have to call to the service provider. I am not getting the Internet, so then the, we have to follow what are their suggestions and do as for that. So you have to raise the complaint. So ultimately, if you are not getting Internet, next one is on router LED status on router. Your Wi-Fi router LED status is important. <coughs> power LED. Uh, your Wi-Fi wireless Wi-Fi LED, LAN LED, WAN LED, or uh, sometimes all are there, sometimes not there. So internet LED, okay. WPS LED. Yeah, that is uh, with uh, so, so check those LED status. Your internet LED is blinking good. Then you're having internet, but you, it is a problem in your laptop or a connectivity. OK, uh, your uh, internet LED is not blinking properly. It is showing a red color or a stable color something. So you got a internet related problem. So what you do? So given the complaint or a check the van connected wire. OK, disconnect and connecting the wire. Restart the router. These are all you can able to do it. So reason for a slow internet. Reason for a slow internet. Several reasons are there. Reason for a slow internet. What are the slow internet connectivities? OK, reason for a slow internet. Um, why my slow internet is there? So first of all, you have to check. Internet speed, actual speed. Okay, check the internet speed. How to check the internet speed? So, like a speed test. So, currently, two ways to speed test is there. Also, you can estimate the speed test with uh, any other <coughs> applications. You can use it. Or you can go to task manager performance, your Wi Fi, and uh, you can see uh, send and receive packets are how it is there. Okay, uh, that from that one you won't get much information. So, this is a Google speed test. A lot of people, including this technician at uh, internet uh, uh, related people, say it shows wrongly. You have to use this speed test by Wokla. This is a two ways to test. OK, so you can use speedtest.net and. You can use this one before you testing it better to close all applications and test it so you will get a more accurate result. Second. Of course, OK, so you can click on go so then you will get a this kind of uh, testing. <laughs> When you do this testing, so uh, it is try to ping to itself on. It is kind of self pinging type. OK, it is kind of self pinging type. OK, that is my internet speed currently. We'll, we will verify the difference between this test and that test also we can verify. So you can open speedtest.net. So speed test by Wokla or you can do that. So how it will test actually it will upload and download a file. It upload and a download a file or a download and upload a file. So based on that. So how much data packet delivery is, it, it, it will estimate it. OK. Uh, it is taking time. Next one, guys, do not open more application. Let it test. It is coming very less slowly. OK, so we'll see that one later. OK, internet speed. So check the internet speed. Second one is. 
exposed unused applications you are not using it okay close tabs browser tabs close browser tab. clean cookies history and all other things clean better to clean it okay so the background application uh, it will work okay so for example i'm not open my outlook i have to open my outlook but i didn't open my outlook uh, that my, as per my work related also i have to open outlook but i didn't open my outlook uh, of course uh, team microsoft team is we are using directly okay so microsoft teams and my outlook should be open because if any mails incoming and uh, incoming information so they will send it but i didn't open to save my internet speed also and uh, system speed see it is showing very less you can try it again no problem okay uh, where it is so how to improve the speed that is very so important reason for a low internet speed it can be a lot of applications are open uh, tabs background downloads get torrent download uh, torrent uh, or anything background downloads we didn't see directly but inside there, there is a some download is going on okay so different things so check your internet speed okay so here it is <clears throat> next one is it's a number of connections number of connections means we have one router 10 connections tv uh, mobile phone laptops like that so like a, a multiple connections are there so multiple loads on your internet next one is it can be possible that is so it is based on isp okay so your isp is not giving proper internet speed that is also reason number of connections background running applications unused applications are a background applications background downloads because of your cookies and histories keep refreshing for example guys very simple this is the page i open right so when i open this one i got the data right so that session is created session is completed you know what google will do the browser will do it refresh this page again and again it refresh the page again and again that's why we are uh, get updates updated information clocks running okay some are shows uh, a clock is running kind of stuff update is going on number of views showing so these are all for example here it is if you see uh, one added one minus i am not able to cross this much score <laughs> okay now okay uh, we are, are not in that mode right so anyway so point is guys so this is uh, <coughs> in a in a view new view came maybe now i i know but i may, I may not know so i can go to analysis so this is a live live analysis live count so it, it it shows live count how are getting live, live count so every few seconds it keeps sending the data every few seconds it keeps sending the data and someone is watching my linux video good <coughs> maybe in our batch only okay so here it is uh, 
how I'm getting updates, guys. It keeps sending, keeps sending same again and again. I'm not using, I'm not, don't require that information. I will check it after uh, uh, three, four year, uh, three, four days. Or maybe uh, evening, I will check it. Not required now. So what I have to do it? Better to close this tab. Better to close this tab. For example, I've opened my uh, uh, Gmail account. Okay. So I open a, a Gmail. Uh, I, I want to see my uh, how many mails I am getting. Okay, then okay, I got that information. So why it is not showing? Light is coming. Okay, uh, I am uh, why uh, I got that uh, mails. That's a good one. Okay. Now, uh, if when I got a new mail, so it will immediately shows right how it is possible. The Gmail, this URL, keep sending, keep sending, uh, um, requesting for a Gmail. So anything new is there that is automatically updates on our screen. It means whenever you open these tabs, either directly or in a background, your uh, it making your internet busy. So that's why first of all check your internet. First of all, you have to check the internet speed. Your internet speed is good, but internet. But you are not feeling that much speed. OK, when you are checking internet speed, your internet speed is good, but you are not feeling. You are not feeling you are getting that much speed of internet. So what do you do? Better to do this one, better to close the tabs of browsers, close unused applications, background applications. <laughs> background application you know things runs in the background also there so background applications see this is a cc cleaner currently i'm not using okay better to close the back kind of stuff okay uh, for, uh, this is i'm not using for example if in case why people are left if people don't record then i don't go okay you know subnet mask Difference between modem and router. Router is a inter-networking device dealing with a local network and outside network. But modem make you connect to the internet. Okay. Sometimes mod is modem is built inside a your router. Uh, we are getting, but it is modem is edge device is make you connect to the internet through ISP. Modem part is to verify your username password and um, connecting your local network to outside a different network it means not in a logical way also uh, in a physical uh, environment means internally you are having a uh, uh, digital uh, uh, signals okay the, the way is a different signaling system strength is different modem outer is different Difference between router and hub. Router is a inter networking device connecting two different networks, two or more different. Hub is for a LAN communication, router is for a WAN communication. Ro hub is only inter internal network only, it, will not, it cannot connect different networks. Okay, so router connects two different, two or more logical networks, physical network and logical networks. How to resolve internet problem in your internet? So already I told. So please check the connectivity and uh, try to ping to Google.com. Internet connectivity. Try to ping the Google. .com. Ping test. Trace RT. Already I told this thing. Topologies. Bus topology. Uh, ring topology. Um, mesh topology. Star topology. What is an IP address? You know. Uh, about IP address classes we use that is in the range IP addresses and their classes. You know that one, guys. Okay, router and modem differences, protocols, full forms, and difference between static and dynamic. Static IP address means manual IP address. Whenever you enter the IP address, it it don't change automatically. Manual IP addresses. Don't change automatically. You have to change based on your network, but it won't change automatically. Dynamic IP address. The IP address is assigned by DHCP server, and whenever you change your network, means 
I am here in this location, and tomorrow I will be there. In a, uh, I went to office uh, tomorrow. Then I will get an IP address from their DHCP server. So I change my network. I I connect to different network. When I connect to different network from their DHCP server, I will get an IP address automatically. Difference between IP address and MAC address. IP address is a logical address. MAC address is a physical address. MAC address is given by manufacturer of NIC. IP address is given by DHCP server or manually we are entering the IP address. All communications by IP address only. <coughs> if your internet connection is not good, uh, what, have, what would you do? Your internet connection is not good. What you do? OK, so again, same, 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 uh, almost all same. Uh, first of all, check the router LED status. This is very helpful, guys. Check the routers, your router LED status. So make sure it is power on your Wi-Fi and mainly internet or a van. Internet or a van. Sometimes it is not separate or sometimes it is separate. OK. Van is separate, internet separate, sometimes both are same. So check the your based on your Wi-Fi router. Check your Wi-Fi router. So see that those LEDs <coughs> understand LED status. <laughs> Make sure that you're connected to internet or not. OK, so in case your internet LED is not blinking, what you do will go to give the complaint. Your van LED is not good. Van LED is not good. What you do? We check the backside connection. For example, van LED. Off. The router backside. Table. Issue. Or it is ISPs issue. If possible, ISPs issue. Okay. An LED is good. Okay, on or good. <coughs> it is in ISPs issues directly. You have no connect con connectivity issues not there. It is a related to ISP related issues. Okay, so like this, so you have to check it. Okay. So what you do, you do nothing. So, so yeah, it, if it is ISP related issues, you can call to their center and do it in, in a home. OK. Next, uh, how to set a IP address statically. So you know that one, go to control panel, open network and sharing center, change adapter settings. There you will get an adapter, open the adapter, properties. Go to IPv4 properties. You want to set manually means use following IP address. Give the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS address. Click OK and OK, OK. Once you completed, check it. We got an IP address according to that one or not. That's it. OK, how to flush ISP? How to flush? Your IP address. Flushing IP address. How to flush IP address? It's not IP can't be flush DNS. That is different. How to flush IP address is IP can't be slash release. This is to remove the IP address. IP can't be. OK, router, DNS, IP address. Uh, what are what are the these differences uh, that are asking? That is uh, what is network? You know that word connection of two or more devices called network communication between two or more devices called uh, networking. Connection of two or more networks is called internetwork. Communication between two or more networks is called a uh, internetworking. Internet and intranet also check it. Different commands of IP address. So means normal commands. So, the ping command is there. 
IP config, IP config all, get MAC address, a uh, lot of comments. IP address classification, class A, class B, class C, class D, class E, class D, class C. Okay, so check the uh, that part. OS layer, application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. So about a TCP, TCP transmission control protocol, it is acknowledgement based protocol. The certain protocols are TCP type protocol, some protocols are UDP, some are both. What is the TCP type protocols? It whenever it send a packet to the destination and the source receive a acknowledgement from the destination to confirm that packet delivery. So it is a reliable network connection oriented network. What is a port? A port is a representation of numerical representation of protocols like HTTP, FTP. Okay, revise that one, guys. Okay, what is RJ45? RJ45 is nothing but a connector. When you want to connect your UTP, STP cables, okay, so we will connect with this connector, right? This is a connector and there is a socket. Okay, so you can see this is a, a connector cable and this is a crimping tool. Once you are connected, so we can, uh, um, uh, we can connect it to this port. Okay, again, we got a doubt, sir. Port means numerical representation. Why it is? Yes, it's a switch port. Okay, that's the difference. Port word use for both in a port number and port. Here it is. If in case, in the context of the connectivity, like a wire connectivity, switch connectivity, if you ask, uh, people are asked a port. Port means nothing but a socket. Port is nothing but a socket. Port is nothing but a, a socket. So this wire goes to the port. So like this. Okay, this is the RJ45 port or RJ45 socket. This is RJ45 plug. RJ45 plug, RJ45 socket. RJ45 socket. This is a connectors there we, where we'll connect, connected to these three things, right? right? That's it. Um, what are the things we are completed? Yeah, where is the modem is located? Uh, already we know that one modem is located, guys, right? So this is the router. This is called modem. So we connected to internet through modem only. Okay. So we receive internet to the modem. Modem will give to router. So router route means uh, router uh, one hour this LAN connection. OK, so these pieces will communicate outside through router. So router IP address is our default gateway IP address. Like this. Config, configuration of my laptop. You know that laptop configuration, uh, how to Know your RAM size, these are all we know. <clears throat> yeah, okay, guys. Uh, take a break, small break. Um, just uh, five minutes. Okay. So I will take another just an half an hour and then we'll continue. Or uh, no one is interested, then we'll disconnect. We'll come back to the. Um, that's it for. It. 